Hello Benzetics. I'm back and I've bought a brand new used gear shifter and as you can guess it's coming from a W203. The part number is exactly the same. You see that gear gear knob? The gear knob is saying W203. Uh, the part number is 203257-5424 and it's exactly the same. So finger crossed it will solve the issue and let's go ahead and replace the gear shifter. All right, we are inside a W209 CLK320 and I've taken the gear knob out, gear shifter, sorry. Uh, this is the, uh, the replacement part and I have had too many people in different forums and uh, videos saying that in, you don't need to take the center console but I found it almost impossible to take this out from this little opening when the center console is in place tightened it is almost impossible as you can see can't even push it in can't even pull it through so it is impossible in my opinion and even if it's possible it makes it a lot easier to just take six uh, bolts for center console and uh, make your life easier in taking this out so the first thing we need to do uh, to put this back is just the c-clip this is the c-clip and you are going to connect the connecting rod to the uh, transmission so this is a tricky part uh, if you want you can attach a uh, thread or just a fishing uh, line to this so you don't lose it see that uh, the rod over there I didn't even go under the car to pull that out just need to that uh, c-clip on it let's do this all right as you can see the C clip is on now and as you can see my thread is still attached to it so I don't lose the C clip uh, it was fairly easy so let's go ahead to the next step the tricky part in taking this connector out or in is see this plastic here pull up on that plastic let me try a different angle so pull up that plastic, rotate it and it comes out and then do the reverse and it's now locked in place. This is a big connector and then there are a few others. Here's another one and then there are two more these are these should go to the that little bezel so we can do this last these are going to happen to be connected to here one two there is one uh, with three pins and this one has four pins the tricky parts in taking this center console is two uh, T25 torx screws that actually screws up to here see one over here and one over there so this is possible to undo when you take off this uh, cigarette ashtray uh, and then after that another tricky part is not to forget there are one T40 screw here and there's one over here so these are I would say a half turn screws so don't try to pull them out all the way let them be there just go halfway and it should just uh, be undone so this is very important uh, in taking off don't force the center console it just comes easily out so these four plus 
you see there are two over here that goes on top of these clips one two clips so it holds the gear shifter holds the gear shifter and the center console and there's you know there is one more in uh, at the front of the gear shifter also there are more also if you have a look inside your con center console compartment there is a little pad like that take that off and you will see there are two uh, 10 millimeter um, bolts that you need to take off so the center console should match up like that so in order to for you to do the half turn lock on those two screws one and two and then uh, everything else should be fairly easy to do so now that I've wired up everything all the connections except these two that remains for the uh, bezel that's to function the LED lights and sport mode and comfort mode I'm going ahead to install back these two screws see those two holes over there and you see that module over there that's the airbag module I've had all the bolts and screws the five of them over here installed as you can see I made sure there is no wire or harnesses stuck underneath the gear shifter for removal of this ashtray you need to pry see this plastic over here the clip the plastic clip you need to pry it out like that and pull it up so there are two of them if you want you can do one by one pry from there like that and then pull up like that and it comes out but something that I was about to forget was there are two plastics for the sides one on this side one goes to this side like that and one goes to the other side in my hand now it's a bit tricky so the plastic goes right in there like that make sure you put your uh, gear shifter into D position so you can have more space over here to work out how to put back the ashtray and it should click back in place with no problem as it did right now and finally there is this uh, little watering panel that comes off the earth got nothing special except one two and three clips see the rear one it goes like that and then it clips right away into the center console so you can see now the gaps are good almost also there is a foam that you need to put it there and there it goes with the bezel last step is putting the gear knob back and the secret or the point important point is this this is a half turn clip as you can see inside so if you put the gear knob back and turn this halfway it locks and if you turn it halfway and then it unlocks and then you can pull out the gear knob or put it back in and here's the mechanism on the gear shifter rod this is part of the locking mechanism so I put the clip in the rod and then push back go all the way in and then turn it turn it a quarter of the turn and then it should be locked 
and then don't forget the uh, connectors there are two of them the four pin and the three pin don't forget these two uh, bolts inside the center console compartment and finally I need to put back the pad for the compartment as well as the pad for cigarette lighter the gear knob back and I've replaced the letter with the newer one but I can see it's still a bit tight over here especially when you put it in P mode in park it just put a little pressure over here but you can see it's intact and in place and looks good all right thank you so much don't forget to like and subscribe